Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, my name is Ren. Today we are going to talk a little bit different. And please don't mind me, I'm so so mad right now. Like, very very tired. First and foremost, I've recorded 28 minutes of me talking about whatever I would say in this video. It was in very terrible angle. The lighting was terrible. I hate it. And I'm so tired because I have to redo whatever I said in the 28 minutes. And I will have classes in 10 minutes. How crazy is that? And I will have midterm on Monday. And I haven't studied. Oh my god. I'm going to collapse. I'm going to be super fast because I have very, very limited time. I will have classes around 6 minutes. I'm not sure if I ever will be able to finish this video by 6 minutes. In this video, I am going to share with you all the apps and also websites I use to get my ebooks. I will not talk about my reading journey because I have done that in my 28 minutes video. But I cannot include that because the lighting was terrible. This lighting is much much more terrible but the previous lighting i used it was unbearable first and foremost definitely kindle it allows you to highlight allows you to send a lot of ebooks that you downloaded to your devices so it doesn't have to be kindle actually you can download kindle app in all across devices android ios even laptop you can also do that the craziest thing is that kindle does not have limit to how many devices that you can sign up to crazy i know and also if you have kindle you probably want to sign up for a library card and once you do you are able to get so so many books and you can also send the books that you borrow from the libby app which is the library that i was talking about to kindle so basically you can send to kindle your books that you borrow from libby i myself make my friends like three of my friends signed up to my kindle and also one of them is uh, my sister so in total i have like four people signed up to my account and also not to mention how many devices i have to sign up to one kindle account next one is libby libby is an app like a library app thingy so you can send the books that you borrow from libby to kindle or you can read it from libby but i don't really like reading from libby because the experience is a bit different but i really 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 enjoy the a feature where you can send your Libby borrowed book to Kindle. And next one is Storytel. So Storytel is an app that allows you to listen to audiobooks. Same with Libby. Libby also have a bunch of audiobooks that you can borrow. But for me personally, I prefer Storytel because they have a lot more updated and so much more variety of books. I have subscribed to it like a month i also shared that account to different persons so i only paid for like 12 or 13 thousand rupiah for a month and it was such an incredible experience in reading because it's listening not reading and i also able to listen to the books while i'm doing my chores so it's very nice thing to do if you're more high in mobility then i really recommend you to subscribe to storytel you also can sign up for free and get like free seven days trial and i did that and i was so in love with it like in seven days i was able to divorce so many books and yeah i missed that times but now we can't i can the next thing is google play books i don't really use it anymore but i used to and it was one of my sources in reading. I buy so many books there, but now I don't recommend buying books there because it's not really as good as Kindle. Like the experience is not as good as Kindle. I just don't really recommend Google Play Books anymore. Also, the price is almost the same as Amazon price. So yeah, not quite different. Media Digital. This is not recommended too, but it used to be one of my sources in getting my ebooks. Not really getting because it's not like I own them, but the minus is that they don't really allow you to own the book, obviously. The experience in reading is not that good because the format of their books are still PDF, meaning that it still act like an image, not like EPUB that can be adjusted, like the font and the size can be adjusted. This, all of the books I think from Gravity Digital are not able to be adjusted, the font, the size, the paper color is not adjustable, so yeah, it's a bit off for me. I really prefer to read from a business itself um, because I don't have to pay. I just need to, you know, like be fast in getting my line for getting that book. Next thing, we are going to go with websites. The first website, which is Project Gutenberg. This is source for my classics, Addiction. 
I love classics so much and most of the classics book I own or are in my Kindle library now are actually for free I got from Project Gutenberg. Project Gutenberg is this public domain website where you can download it so many public domain books meaning that most of the books there are legal already because they don't have any copyright so if the books are already run out of copyrights you can send them right to your kindle and they will be there pop in as easy as that next one i like is simon teen website i used to be able to devour like two books in two days because they have this agenda where you are allowed to read in every single day different book every single day i love it I think it was in 2021. I was so challenged by it. And one of the books that they have is sequel to the book I have read. Um, and it was Misfits in Love by SK Ali. Those are my all my sources, guys. That's it. I really hope you like this very, very quick video. Um, I am trying my best to commit to every single bit in this channel. So I really hope you like this video as much as I do. If only I don't have to retake this, I would love it as much as I used to. Um, so yeah, I really hope this video still works for you because I'm sorry if the lighting is terrible. I'm sorry if whatever I say is a bit off and not coherent or not comprehensive at all. Really, really sorry for that. But I really hope we can meet again in another video in way, way, way calmer situation and less speed talking and also more comfortable being see you later or sooner whatever i hope you like this video see you soon in another video have a nice day have a great day assalamualaikum bye